Okay guys, so this is how we're going to orient the Iron Man faceplate and that supports for the best results. Um, this Iron Man faceplate is from Nico Industries. You guys can grab the files in the membership um, down in the link below. Anyway, so let's start. Um, I am going to be using a Bamboo Lab slicer just because it's so much easier to add supports for it and to orient it properly the way I want to. So now that we have it on a plate, we're just going to rotate this on the x-axis and I want to make it as vertical as possible all right so about 90 degrees that works you know what actually maybe a little less so maybe like this something like that all right so not quite 90 um, you know something along these lines but not if you just want 90 90 is fine too so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add supports here so I'm just gonna paint the supports on now my last video um, for some reason didn't record so it already has the supports painted uh, on here but it's exactly the same right so all I'm going to do is add supports underneath down here around the lip and on the side of the cheeks on um, on both sides underneath right so right there if you guys want to take a screenshot of that okay now I also add supports under the eyes here because it's um, better to have supports and not need it then need it not have it okay so those are the supports that I'm using now for the support type um, you can use tree or um, the normal supports which are the pillars you know the just up and down ones um, for this I will be using uh, tree supports just because you know, I like them um, and these are my support settings okay so you guys can take a screenshot of that right now and screenshot it right now and there you go so those are my those are my settings for a uh, tree all right so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on the printer so I can show you guys I can so before that um, I, I am adding a brim just three you know three layers wide uh, for the brim anyway so I am gonna throw this on the printer and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like um, after you print it so that you guys see um, that I'm not full of crap. All right, so here's what that looks like with the uh, supports being done with the lip, all that shenanigans. So we'll see this in a few hours and should be done. And there it is. It's done, right? Let's see if we can take this off and then I'll show you guys how easy the supports come off. All right. See, but pops right off. Supports should come off fairly easily, just like that. Hope you guys took a screenshot of my my settings there. Whoop! Going to hit the tripod. Pretty satisfying. And that's it, you guys. Uh, super easy, right? So if you guys have any other ideas or any other requests for what I should do for support settings, orientation settings, uh, print settings, and so forth, just let me know. Um, put it in the comments down below. We'll talk about it, and that'll be my next video. Catch you guys later. Peace.